welcome students today we will discuss de morgan's laws in which we have two de morgan's laws which will be used to simplify the boolean expressions before going to the main topic let's have a recap on the previous topics in the last class we have discussed about the fundamental logic gates and uh, in which we have discussed three logic gates which are inverter gate and gate and or gate the corresponding table is given here inverter gate invert the input signal or input uh, variables into its uh, complement and uh, and gate basically uh, give the output in terms of the product that is if we have input a and b then the output will be a dot b and in or gate the input variables are summed that is if we have a and b as input then the output will be a plus b In this class, you will learn and explain the De Morgan's law, and also you will apply the De Morgan's laws to solve the Boolean expressions. Let's start the De Morgan's laws. It can be stated as the complement of the product is the sum of the complement. That is. If we have two variables x and y, then the product is a x dot y, and its complement is written as dash. So x dot y dash will be equal to the complement of uh, the sum of the complement of the variables x and y. That is x dash plus y dash. The complement of the sum is product and of, of the uh, complement that is the this is the second law x plus y bar that is dash is equal to x dash dot y dash so these are uh, the two de Morgan's laws one is the complement of the product is the sum of complement and another is the complement of sum is the product of the complement and we can generalize this uh, law for n number of variables and it can be proved by using the two tables so we will uh, prove this these two laws by using the two table So in the first case, if we see x dot y complement is equal to x dash plus y dash. So let's say we have two variables x and y, and in the first case, first combination of the inputs that is x is zero and y is zero, x dot y will be zero, and its complement that is the complement of x dot y will be one. Similarly, the the sum of the complement that is x bar plus y bar will be 1 and now for the second case if you see x is equal to 0 y is equal to 1 then x dot y will be again 0 but its complement will be 1 similarly x bar plus y bar will be also 1 and in this way we can uh, verify that whatever be the value of x and y the complement of x dot y and the sum of the complement that is x bar plus y bar both are equal so this is the LHS and this is RHS so both are equal so we can write this in terms of the formula that is called the Morgan's law x dot y whole bar is equal to x bar plus y bar here we have written dash so we can prove the De Morgan's law for uh, the second 
one also by making the uh, truth table like uh, this dot. Morgan's theorem can be uh, proved by using the logic gates also. You can see here x1 and x2 are two variables and uh, if it is uh, working as the input for a NAND gate and the output will be x1 x2 bar and this will be equivalent to uh, logic gate in which x1 and x2 are first uh, used as a variable for two NOT gate and then it is complemented and the complemented variables are now uh, it has the input for OR gate and the corresponding output is x1 bar plus x2 bar. So this is uh, the first uh, de Morgan's law and in the second case if we have two variables and it is uh, if these x1 x2 are inputs for uh, an OR gate then x1 plus x2 whole bar will be the output and the x1 bar x2 bar will be obtained by this gate which easily the uh, NOT gate are used and then uh, one AND gate is used. So these two autos will be equal. So we can uh, express the de Morgan's law by uh, corresponding digital circuits. So uh, here some practice questions are there uh, based on the de Morgan's theorem uh, because uh, after knowing the laws to uh, de Morgan's law, it is uh, very important to use those law to uh, simplify the Boolean expressions. So here the Boolean expression is given it is A C D bar plus A bar B inside bracket C D plus B C bar. So we have to solve this uh, Boolean expression by using the de Morgan's law. So first we apply the distributed law to the second term. So here this is the second term and if we multiply A bar B with each term inside the bracket we will get a c d bar plus a bar b c d plus a bar b b c since uh, we know that b dot b is equal to b so we further simplify it in step 2 so after simplification it becomes x is equal to a c d bar plus a bar b c d plus a bar b c now C is uh, common, so we take it uh, outside the bracket and uh, the A D bar plus A bar B D plus A bar B will be the expression. Now in the fourth step, we see that A bar B appears in the last two terms in the bracket so we take outside that is a uh, bar b we take outside that is d plus 1 and since d plus 1 is always 1 so we write x is equal to c a d bar plus a b so uh, this is the simplified version of the given expression and uh, now from this expression we can design the digital circuit in which two NOT gate, two AND gate and one OR gate is used. So earlier the logic gate was large number, now it is simplified and we have reduced the number of uh, logic gates. So we can say that we have reduced the 
uh, processing time because we are using very less logic gates. In this problem, uh, we will solve this uh, Boolean expression and simplify it by using the De Morgan's law. So the expression is a plus b bar plus c plus b plus c bar a whole bar. So this is the expression. Now we will solve it by using De Morgan's theorem. So if you apply the De Morgan's theorem here, we take this bracket as one uh, term and b plus c bar as one term. So using the De Morgan theorem, it will be a plus b bar plus c bar dot b plus c bar whole bar. So this is the uh, uh, De Morgan theorem. And now further, in this bracket, we can use the uh, De Morgan's theorem again. So this becomes a bar plus b bar over bar. So it becomes b plus c bar. And this is again uh, solved by using the Morgan theorem. So it becomes b bar dot c bar over bar. So it becomes c. But the interesting thing is uh, the uh, the term b and b bar are uh, here and as we know that b dot b bar is always zero similarly c bar dot c is always zero so this entire term becomes zero so uh, the expression for this uh, means the solution for this uh, function is a uh, boolean function will be zero so whatever be the value of variable a b c the output will be always zero it means we don't need any uh, logic gate because every time we will get output zero so neither we can use nor gate nor gate or and gate so whatever be uh, the inputs we will always get output as C. This is because uh, we will have this De Morgan's theorem. We have used that to, uh, to simplify this. This is the application of De Morgan to laws that we have studied. These are some uh, references for the topic. You can go for can go through this uh, books for better understanding. Thank you.